Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. Uh, please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. I want to start a new feature here on uh, my blog tonight, and uh, what I want to do is uh, take you all to uh, some of the uh, scroll saw sites on the web that I've found uh, useful uh, over the years. And uh, the one I want to start with tonight is probably the first scroll saw site I ever visited on the web. And uh, this guy is, his name is Rick Hutchinson, and I believe he's probably had a scroll saw site up longer than anybody, at least anybody that I know of, other than maybe a couple of commercial sites. If you go to my blog and you scroll down to the link section, you'll see a link to Rick Hutchinson's site. Now it happens to be www.scrollsaws.com. That's saws with an S. And uh, if you click that link, uh, you'll be taken over to uh, Rick's site. And uh, he provides a tremendous amount of information, both video and text. He also sells patterns. He designs. Uh, um, wooden gear clocks. Uh, this man basically has done it all in the woodcraft business. He also does some lathe work so there's a lot of information here and uh, you would really do well to visit this site and uh, look through what he has to offer. When you come to Rick's uh, home page you'll notice that he's from Grimes, Iowa and um, you'll see on the home page some uh, information. You can drop him an email which I encourage you to do and uh, also you'll see right here that he also has some uh, free videos of saw, uh, scroll saw tips and uh, see if I can pull one of those up right now here is a uh, video of Rick's uh, one of his tips and looks like that may not be playing too well here in my recorder so we'll skip over that for right now but anyway if you go to his video tips uh, you'll find all kinds of great tips, uh, basic uh, scroll saw tips that Rick has produced and uh, well worth stopping and watching all of those. Um, as you scroll down his toolbar over here, uh, you'll see the free scroll saw videos. Here's his scroll saw collection which is actually incredible. Uh, I believe on his site it says he has over 170 uh, antique scroll saws and he's got just about everything you can imagine. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll zoom in on this uh, picture right here of his uh, collection and you'll see that it's pretty amazing. He's, he's uh, really got an incredible collection. I would love to spend a day just looking around uh, his shop and uh, seeing what all he has to offer. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at the chandelier scroll saw work he's done at the top and all these antique scroll saws. So that uh, alone is worth the trip over there. Now, the next section down, if you look over here in his menu bar, he's got articles on choosing a scroll saw, types of saws, uh, types of tension, types of clamps. So he's got quite a bit of information there about choosing a scroll saw. Rick also does an excellent job of doing reviews on uh, different saws. Uh, for instance, here's a review of the DeWalt uh, DW7088, which is the saw I use. Uh, as a matter of fact, this review is uh, what caused me to go out and buy my uh, scroll saw when I up upgraded uh, a few years ago. So these different uh, reviews are absolutely wonderful. Here's a section that I get uh, uh, email requests on all the time. And to be honest with you, Rick is so much better than at this than me. Uh, I'd really rather just to refer to his expertise. But he talks about how to choose a blade. Uh, different drill bits to use, how to set blade tension, and uh, the blade size chart which is absolutely invaluable and uh, if you want to learn which blades to use for your patterns come over to here to Rick's site and read this. There's no way I could do a better job than he's done so uh, I'll just uh, defer to his expertise there. Uh, the next section is the list of uh, several of the uh, scroll saw tips. Here's one on safety and if you're just learning. So these text files are uh, worth taking a few minutes to uh, to read and in a lot of cases he has uh, pictures with them so don't uh, miss out on the scroll saw tips. Uh, the next one are shop tips where he just gives you uh, basic uh, information about how to set up a scroll saw shop. He's got uh, information about a paint uh, booth, uh, how to spray finish, uh, just incredible tips that are worth taking the time to look at. Okay, uh, let's see. Here's a pattern for a 3D deer. This is a free pattern that you can uh, download from his site. And for those of you out there that like to do the 3D work, here's that little deer that you've probably seen before and the sled to go with it. That right there is worth the trip. 
Uh, here is a list of his wooden gear clocks. You can see he's into wood burning, marquetry, uh, all, all kinds of stuff. And as we move down, he's getting into his lathe applications. Uh, he has a CNC machine. These are kind of neat to go through. These are pictures from all the different scroll saw picnics he's been to. Uh, he also has a uh, section on here where he, I think I missed it up here, but he has a section on uh, Corel 9 tips and videos. And this is actually uh, the uh, section that, decide, that made me decide to use Corel Draw for uh, my pattern making. So I learned quite a bit from these tips, even though it's an older version, most of them still apply to the newer versions just as well. So anyway, uh, now down here is where he sells his patterns. Uh, he has a lot of great patterns, and uh, if you want a, an unending uh, list of patterns to purchase, come and look at the stuff he does. Uh, he has just about everything you can think of. He also sells books. Uh, he sells wooden gear clock plans, uh, videos. Uh, you name it, this man's done it, and he's got it. Here are many of the patterns that you can purchase from him. All of them are great. Uh, he he sells his patterns through PayPal, so you can buy them online. Uh, so it's uh, very easy to do. So if you get a chance, check out uh, Rick Hutchinson's site at www.scrollsaws.com, and I guarantee you, you won't... Uh, regret stopping by this site because you're going to spend a few hours here especially if you're new to the scroll saw okay that's it for tonight uh, we'll try to do a uh, another website review sometime next week and uh, if you guys seem to like these uh, maybe I can uh, do one every week or at least a couple a month and uh, we'll go to some of the uh, better scroll saw sites to get you guys started okay hope everybody liked this video and we'll see you next time here at the scroll saw workshop